busted fuse or it's no good all close all care all right y'all and home i'm home y'all just got done hey so there's modern more right there the 52 the 52 inch i gotta i gotta find out what's going on all right so if um did you already already told you the ignition key um found out that it was bad um like it wasn't turning on so i went to the um my, the closest dealer they ordered me one they said it'll probably take a while i had to take off to do an errand um they called me back they said they got the part so i went back to go get it and i'm uh, i put it's simple to put in i even i was even making a video how to put it the um switch out of the ignition key but i still want to turn on so like i don't know what happened i, I you know I, I don't got time so i just got the um the my backup mower the crz right there the 42 inch it was doing its job so, hey man so overall today y'all like i was out for four hours okay um that's not including the the what i had to go through right once once i started mowing it, was, it took me four hours to finish um five yards i made 410 dollars during that during that top four hours i went to do a, i went to do a quote i knew we have a new customer it's an 80 dollar yard the first yard is going to the first initial cut's gonna be 180, an extra hundred dollars because of our overgrowth. Uh, she was deployed. Apparently, her roommate took off on her, and she had a friend said she was gonna that was gonna mow her yard, and they never did. So I said, I wish you knew us because uh, we would have took care of you. Also, send you before and after pictures, just so you know you're not being um, screwed over. Cause that's what we do for people who are deployed or they're not here. Well, do they pay us first, and we do a before and after picture. You know, what I mean, when we service her lawn. So um. Hey y'all, thank you for sticking with me um, during, today. All right, my moment of um, stress, trying to mess with my mower. It's right there. Um, I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna um, put the mower up, put back in the trailer, put all that stuff in my truck. Go inside, take a shower, and get ready for Bible study. We have Bible study today. Play, play. All right, y'all. So I just came back uh, from Bible study. Got back to the mower. Last thing I could check is the fuses. So I checked this fuse right here, okay? And this is what came out. See this, y'all? I don't know if you can tell. Busted fuse, all right, it's no good. Luckily, Anna, all right, has more fuses in the, in the toolbox. Anna amazes me, y'all, for real. Right, Anna? I think so. Yeah, she does. So right here, y'all, put a new fuse right there. So Anna, okay, got the new fuse, put it back. And I know it works because we just tested it. I'm just, I'm doing this for y'all. So I want y'all to see, okay, because just in case you run into the situation, check the fuses. So, so first, we did have to change the um the ignition the ignition switch. Well, probably because me cranking it up a lot, it probably burned out the fuse. All right. It was a fuse, fuse y'all, the whole time. Okay, well, the ignition key switch, but also the fuse. So. If you checked everything, you checked fuel, it has fuel, they had oil, it had oil, ignition key switches, it's good. You checked everything, it don't work. Check the fuse, y'all. Okay, I had a bad fuse the whole time. Well, not the whole time, probably went bad when um the ignition key switch went bad. But that's what that, that's what it was, y'all. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out. I hope it made you less stressed. Go out there and look at that mower and change that fuse. Hey, like and subscribe. God bless. See you on the next video. Bye.